Hi guys, how are you? Happy Teacher's Day. Did you wish your teacher today? Did you write a note for your teacher? Did you make a card for your teacher? Do let us know in the comment section. I did. What did you do for your teacher today? What I did you do card. for your teacher? But um, I didn't do today. I did yesterday. Because today is a holiday for me since I'm in local. Right. So this is Arav. My name is Preeti. Welcome to our page. Today's story number 88. And we are so excited to read a special story for Teacher's Day. And I also want to thank all my students for doing something special for me. Today I met Mishka and Samira and they got beautiful gifts and cards for me. Thank you so much, guys. So should we go and say hello to Guru Dronacharya? We can't say hello. This like ancient guru. We'll say namaste to Guru Dronacharya. And we will meet the greatest but before student that ever. happens, the magic song and the magic potion. Yeah, we forgot about the magic the song. The magic hat is shaking. The magic hat is shaking. The magic hat is shaking. shaking. Magic potion. Agadabra, magic hat. Give me the Give story. Me. I want to see this guru in life. Yes, Arav has not heard this story about Guru Dronacharya and Eklavya. So let's go right into the story. We are going 5,000 years back. Wow. Five long, long time years? back. 5,000 oh. years back. Are you all ready? I'm ready? Hey, we forgot to say hello to our friends today. Okay. Hi, Nirav. Hello, Shriya. All right. Let's go back in time 5,000 years ago. Okay, the people that you see in picture, the one with a bun on the top is Guru Dronacharya and the boy with a feather and a head bent kind of a thing, he is Eklavya. Eklavya is said to be the greatest student ever in the history. Okay. Is he was he the arrow student like the yes 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 yes. Then he I was know an the archer. story. You have told me. Is it? I don't remember telling you the story. Um, let me whisper it. Okay. Don't don't whisper. Please, anyways, please, we are, please. Anyways, we are reading it today. Let's read now, please. There's an archer, and then there's somebody who comes from the jungle, and then right. So let's be. go to the. You the have book. told me the story. But do you remember all of it? Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> In ancient uh, India, nearly 5,000 years ago, that's where we are going back in time, mm. okay, there lived a young hunter prince. His name was Eklavya. Mm -hmm. Even though he was a hunter by birth. Who are hunters, Ara? Mm, I don't know. Hunters are people ah, who hunt, who hunt animals. wild animals in the jungle. Yeah, because it was very old and there was no other food to eat. So there, in ancient India, like 5,000 years back, there were different tribes for different kind of jobs. So there were hunters, there were a tribe, soldiers, yeah. There were people who would do business. So people who do business can only do business. They cannot do hunting. People who do hunting can only do hunting. They cannot be soldiers. That, that used to be the rule 5,000 years oh. back. So what Eklavya used to do, he was born in the family of hunters and he was the hunter Prince, obviously he is a hunter. Where will he live? In the forest, right? Yeah. So he used to live in the forest of a city called Hastinapur. Hastinapur, exactly the same ending like Raipur. <laughs> That's right. So Eklavya aspired to become a great archer and a brave warrior. But is he allowed to become a warrior? No. That time, you know, if you are a hunter, you were supposed to be a hunter only. But he wanted to be a great archer to shoot bow and arrow. And he also wanted to be a brave warrior. Now he expressed his desire to, this, to his father. Father, I want to be an archer and become a student of the great Guru Dronacharya. He is the greatest teacher of archery and he is the greatest teacher of the science of warfare in the kingdom like all the strategies that you need to know to learn war to win wars okay mm. so that's what Eklavya wanted to do 
Okay, guys. Yeah. So, a love you said to his father, "Please give me your blessings before I set out for his school." In ancient time, the schools were called Gurukul. Gurukul. Hmm. That means the place of guru. Guru is teacher. Arif, stop doing that. Why are you moving so much? Always moving. Always moving. Always moving. Always moving. Always moving. Always moving. Okay. So he wanted to go to Gurukul. Gurukul. Gurukul is the school in ancient India, five thousand years back. Okay. What? His father remained silent. It loved him that something was bothering his father. Hmm. He said. father i know we are shudras shudras is a tribe okay mm. we belong to the hunting tribe but mm. guru dronacharya is a wise and knowledgeable and learned man please allow me to become his student mm. generally it was not allowed yeah? yeah that's why the father was silent because he cannot give permission to his son to go hmm. to um guru drona charya that's right ek lab se father was a kind man and he did not wish to refuse his son hmm. by by right he would have to refuse his son right yeah. because they were in the hunting tribe hmm. how can his son become a warrior but he was a kind man and he did not want to refuse his son so he gave his bless blessings and he sent his son on his way yeah. this is how um, they used to give blessings in the ancient times see yeah. the gods also give blessings like this yeah no you know that's true okay now mm. ek love you guys have you heard the story of ek, ek love you before i have you have yeah but so just some now. of the friends have joined late they're asking what happened what happened but you know from the story Okay, so now I'm let's see. I'm in the see. name of the people there. Right now, Ekla View he reached the Gurukul of Guru Dronacharya. That means the school of his teacher, Dronacharya, whose mm. student he wanted to be. Okay. Mm. Now Dronacharya <clears throat> was the royal teacher, not an ordinary teacher, but mm. royal teacher. Oh. He only used to teach prince. who will be who will become king in the future yeah hmm. only yeah. the royalty yeah mm, yeah and he was the royal yeah. teacher of pandavas and kauravas pandavas were five brothers and kauravas were 100 brothers so he had 105 students 100 plus 5 5 equals here 105 students that's right now ek love you was thrilled at the prospect of finally meeting the guru he had always wanted to learn from his eyes eagerly sought out the teacher where is guru dronacharya he was looking eagerly he spoon spotted him he saw him instructing a boy and which boy the boy he was instructing was arjun arjun okay he was the best arrow he shooter. was yeah he was the best arrow shooter of and wait is this a guy living in the jungle oh he's a jungle guy right arjun i no, mean arjun as a prince ek love you is the jungle guy i know yeah i love us yeah and who was arjun arjun was a prince yeah. so guru dronacharya was teaching arjun hmm. ek love you went to guru dronacharya he folded his hands in greeting and he bowed down to touch the guru's feet like this hmm. duna chari was surprised to see the stranger and he asked him hmm. who are you boy do hmm. ek love you very politely was he said oh guru i am ek love you ek ek love, love you the son of the chief of hunters wow in the forest of hastinapur please accept me as your humble student and teach me the art of archery and warfare dronacharya reflected for a minute reflecting means thinking okay mm -hmm. he reflected for a minute mm. 
and then mm-hmm. said ek love you if you are a hunter then you are a shudra tribe okay the lowest caste in the kingdom i am a brahmin the highest caste in the kingdom all my students are kshatriyas the warrior caste so i told you are mm-hmm. the warrior caste kshatriya they can only be warriors mm-hmm. brahmins they are only teacher at that time mm-hmm. they cannot do any other job mm-hmm. shudras they were they they had some jobs one of the job was hunting so they cannot become warriors that's mm-hmm. what the rule was yeah okay so guru dronacharya said all my students are the warrior caste mm-hmm. i cannot teach you not the pandavas the five brother they stood watching the exchange between guru and eklavya encouraged by the guru's words arjun spoke up he said guru dronacharya is a royal teacher appointed by the king to train us the prince of the kingdom how dare you expect to be taught by him leave the gurukul immediately said arjun to eklavya Hmm. Is it becoming confusing or do you follow? I follow. Guys, do you follow what's happening in the story? Who is Arjun? Who is Eklavya? Who is Guru Dronacharya? This is Eklavya. This is Eklavya. Okay. Now comes the next part of the story. Hmm. Now Eklavya was surprised at the harsh word, harsh words of the Guru, Dronacharya, and also hmm. Arjun. What are you doing? Okay. And he was hurt. Wow. Okay. and he was feeling very sad because arjun had insulted him mm. now he was a hunter chief son yet he had never insulted anyone in the hunter tribe he was the prince right yeah but he had never insulted anyone but he did not think of taking revenge or anything he quietly left the gurukul mm. but he was determined to learn archery So you know what he did? Mm. He went back to the forest. There, mm. he built an idol of mm. Guru Dronacharya. What mm. is an idol? Mm. A picture. Ah, uh, not a picture. It's like a sculpture. Mm. You know what is a sculpture? Like you made Ganesha. Remember the clay oh, Ganesha? Oh, he made. That is a sculpture. Oh, he made a sculpture. Now, yeah, okay. he Now made a clay okay. sculpture of Guru Dronacharya using yeah. mud. Yeah, <laughs> and. he believed that this mm. mud guru this mm. mud structure mm. yeah mm. this was his guru and he mm. will practice faithfully every day in front of his guru mm. yeah yeah because he was a great guru guru dronacharya so he eklavya okay. believe if he will practice every day in front of this sculpture okay. he will master the art of archery wow. and so determined he was ara every morning he got up early and he would pray to the guru's idol and practice throughout the day after years and years of practicing he became number 1 archer very good archer even hmm. surpassing arjun who hmm. was supposed to be the best archer in hastina pur even he surpassed wow. arjun yeah hmm. he became one of the best archer in the kingdom of hastinapur now hmm. one day yeah. while practicing a dog started barking at some distance how does a dog bark <coughs> now its constant barking irritated eklavya what he did he fired seven arrows in quick succession one after the other one after the other one after the other filling the dog's mouth with the arrows without injuring it the dog was no longer able to bark and he roamed around the forest so arab see he shooted the dog with how many arrows seven but the dog did not get injured he mm. just put the arrows in the dog's mouth so that the dog will not be able to so skilled he was he did not even see the dog he only heard the dog's bark and he shot the arrow just imagine like that mm. and 
the where did he shot the arrow exactly in the mouth of the dog such mm. a great shot isn't it yeah without even seeing yeah. only by hearing mm. now this dog started roaming around the forest mm. thus roaming the dog reached the pandavas and guru dronacharya they were mm. practicing in the forest mm. now dronacharya was amazed to see such a great example of archery that who could have done this without even hurting the dog mm. even when you are seeing the dog it's very difficult to put arrows like that in the dog's mouth because dog is always moving right yeah 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 so guru dronacharya was super amazed amazed he realized that only some extremely skilled archer could have done this now he set out to look for that archer who did it who did it he wanted to know who is so good mm. and do you think he will find a club here yeah okay let's see mm. looks mm. like he will meet a club here now mm. soon they came across a young man who was dressed in a hunter's clothes see hunters used to wear these kind of clothes Hmm. just like a skirt yeah and this person in the hunter's clothes who was he is lavya ek lavya he was practicing archery hmm dronacharya went up to him and asked your aim is remarkable but why How? who is your teacher guru dronacharya asked It's like mama is a dance teacher, right? Yeah. If mama will see somebody doing amazing dance, mama will go and ask, "No, you dance so well. Who is your teacher?" Like that, yeah. <laughs> so just like that, Guru Dronacharya. But how? Went, why did he ask him? He is he is very curious to know, na? Who's who's such a great teacher who taught so nicely? But how did he know Ek Lavya was the one? Arey Ek Lavya is having bow and arrow in his hands. In the jungle, there are very few people. Who have bow and arrow? Yeah. He saw a club you with bow and arrow, and he figured it out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. why is this yeah. a club you shooting? The, look, the dog is bleeding. Ayo, this is a different picture. This is not correct. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Okay. So he asked Guru Dronacharya, "Ask a club you. Your aim is remarkable, son. Who is your teacher?" You search," replied Eklavya politely. Mm. Now Guru Dronacharya is in for a shock because he had never he has never taught this boy. Yeah. And what did this boy say? You are, you are my teacher. Guru Dronacharya was stunned. He said, "How can I be your guru when I have never met you before?" Okay. I am Eklavya. The boy said. Oh. I am Eklavya, the boy who came to learn archery from you at your Gurukul. After you refused to take me as your student, I came back to the forest and I made a statue of you. I prayed to the statue every day, and I practiced every day in front of the statue, and with the statue's blessings, with your blessings. I was able to master the art of archery. archery. Now you know what? What? Guru Dronacharya was mm. actually very proud of Eklavya, but he had given a promise to Arjun that mm. you will be known as the best archer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Guru Dronacharya could see that Eklavya was a Better archer than Arjun. Mm. Now his words will have no meaning mm. if Arjun is not the best archer. Yeah, so mm. he had to do something. Mm. He devised a way out. Mm. So he said to Eklavya, "You know, Arab in in uh, ancient India, like five thousand years back, yeah, you never paid just the fee like money to teacher. You paid mm. Guru Dakshina. Like whatever your teacher will ask, you have to do that for your teacher." Ah, oh. yeah. Teacher can ask you for anything yeah. as the fees, anything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Guru Dronacharya said to Eklavya, Hmm, I see that you have learned from me. Now you will have to pay your Guru Dakshina, my gift for training you. Eklavya was overjoyed at hearing this. He was very happy that he could finally pay Guru Dakshina to his Guru. Hmm. <clears throat> And you know when you have to pay Guru Dakshina, Ara? Why? A Guru Dakshina is paid when the teacher thinks that you are a very good student and you have completed your training. So that's why Iklavya was very happy because his mm. teacher thought that he was a mm. good student. Mm. So he replied, I am blessed that you have asked me for Guru Dakshina. Mm. Please ask me what you want for Guru Dakshina. Guru Dronacharya said, hmm. I want your right thumb as the Guru Dakshina. Hmm. Everybody was shocked, hmm. even Arjun, because everybody knew that hmm. an archer could never shoot an arrow without his right, right thumb. Hmm. Eklavya was not shocked. He looked steadily at Dronacharya. He realized the reason behind his demand that he was doing this because he wanted Arjun to be the best student. Mm. But he replied, I will never disobey your wish, my guru. I'm grateful that you recognize me as your student, even though mm. I am a hunter tribe. I'm not a warrior tribe, yeah? Yeah. So last time when I came to your school, you turned me away. You sent me away that you cannot teach me because I'm hunter tribe. But today I'm very happy that you recognize me as your student and I will never disobey you. And saying this, he took a knife and he cut off his right thumb and he placed it at his teacher's feet. Mm. See? Yeah. He cut the thumb and he placed it at his teacher's feet. Everyone, including Dronacharya, he marveled at the boy's courage, how courageous he was. Mm. Dronacharya was humbled and he was also feeling a little bit guilty. Mm. And he blessed Eklavya. Mm. You will be known far and wide as a great archer. Even without your thumb, everybody will talk about you in years to come. See, that's why even after 5,000 years ago, we are reading about him and he is famous. Yeah. yeah. And Guru Dronacharya said, hmm. moreover, you will wow. always be remembered as the greatest student ever for your loyalty towards your Guru. Yeah. And... Hmm. Blessing Dronacharya, uh, sorry, blessing Eklavya, Guru mm. Dronacharya left the forest. And mm. even till date, he is known as the best student in the whole yeah. world. Wow. So that is how oh, yeah, sincere wow. the students are. Did you like this story? Everybody yeah. let us know in the comment section. Mm. So why are we sharing this story on Teacher's Day? The greatest thing that you can do for your teacher is listen to them, learn from them. Yeah. Yeah, respect them. Okay? Mm -hmm. So hope you enjoy learning from your teacher and hope you learn something from this Eklavya, Eklavya's story. We'll see you tomorrow with another story time. I know today's story was a bit heavy for everybody, yeah? Intense yeah. and heavy. But I hope, we hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys? Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Arav is really serious after the story. Oh, Are you feeling bad for Eklavya? Me too. Everybody feels bad for Eklavya. But that's how they remember Eklavya is the best student in the history of the universe. world. Yes. All right, guys. It's okay, Ara. It's all right. Bye. Tata. Bye, guys. Take care. See you. Tata. Bye. Bye. Bye.